useless, absolutely useless. We can't afford any of these people on our budget. Oh, D. Yeah. Hmm? What is that, Bossos? What is our budget? D. You're the accountant, you tell me. Oh, uh, ah, D. Barley, the lasso. Seven. D. Oh, that's better than I expected, actually. Oh, D. D. Oh, no, well, we can do a bit with that. Uh, oh, hello! <laughs> hello, ah, welcome ah, to Ed Now Cho in the afternoons. D. Although, pretty soon, it's going to be Ed Now Cho in the movies. D. Yeah, we've written a script and we're going to Hollywood. We're just wow. trying to cast the film, though. It's a bit yeah. tricky. Dick Van Caravan didn't work out, did he? Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't mean to say he, but also. Yeah, we need to rethink. D. Mm. Oh, what I said, you meant for D. Cast somebody who's a young me. D. Oh, because yeah, it's about my life. But anyway, watch Tracy Beaker. There's loads of kids in that. D, D, D. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, right. OK. Right. Oh, thank you very much. That was the producer, Tracy Beaker. Apparently, yeah. child actors are really expensive and there's all sorts of regulations and stuff. You found someone to play the young me in the movie? Hey, hey. Ah, who we got then? Dali. Daniel Radcliffe? Hey. Bit expensive, isn't he? Huh? He's getting on a bit as well. No, no, that's no good. No, no, no. Oh, Danny Harmer? Oh, D, D, yeah. Oh, no, she's getting on a bit as well, isn't she? Hey. No, 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 not him. Uh, and he's advertising stair lifts now. Oh. No, 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 the young me. This one with... Oh! Well, he looks quite good. Huh? Yeah. And he's quite cheap, very cheap. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. What is that? His name? D. Name's Rubbish Child Actor. Yeah. What is that? No, no, that is his name. Huh? Rubbish what? Child Actor. It's probably oh. a nickname. A hilarious nickname. I bet he'll be brilliant. I'm going to ring D. his agent while news rounds on. Oh, wow. Hello, hi, hi, hi. Uh, it's Ed Petrie from CBBC here. I'm just phoning because oh. I'm interested in one of your clients and I'm wondering if they might come in for an audition. Uh, yeah, their name is Rubbish Child Actor. No, no, it's not for Raven, although that is on today. No, not Arthur, no. No, no, no I don't want him to sing in free phonics, no, although all those shows are on today. Uh, no, 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 no. It's for a Hollywood movie that I've written. It's to play me as a child. D. Hello? Hello? What? Are you still there? Good. <laughs> but what's it about? OK, well, it's basically about me and my early life and D. my fight against the system. No, not that system. No, no, my fight against the system in Rustington-on-Sea, where I grew up. Well, well, basically, uh, part one, which would be interesting your client for, uh, is all about how, how I fought against my evil, domineering father. D. No, he didn't do that. No, 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 no. He, he took the stabilizers off my bike before I was ready, <gasps> and I fell over, hurt my knee, and uh, it was all his fault. Oh. Right. So you think he'd be interested? Lovely stuff. OK, yeah, if you could send him over today, that'd be great. Thank you. Hey, we've got a rubbish child actor coming in for an audition. I bet it'd be brilliant. Oh, Dilla, but I'm gonna feel about Dilla. Yeah, and that is what the film is about, yes? Oh, laughless. I know, it's gonna be pretty good. Oh, sheesh. Welcome back to us. So this afternoon, we're casting our very own Hollywood movie. Hey. Yeah, we're trying to find someone to play the part of me as a ten-year-old boy in a script wow. that I've written about my early life before I met Outcho. Hey. And uh, his, his CV is very good, this next one, isn't he? Oh, D.D. is that? Yeah, he's called Rubbish Child Actor, which I'm sure is just a joke, joke name. Oh, was, oh, he's great. I think I mean, we're on the same wavelength, I think, already. Hey, before hey, I've even seen him. And uh, he's been some great things, me and Emma Dale. Oh. Played the third bale of hay on the left. Oh, he was in Holby City. Wow. Played a nasty cold saw. Oh. And then last of summer wine, he played an old man's trumpet. Oh. Hey, better see him. He's, he's, he's very versatile. Hey. Yes, yes. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sure he's going to get a job. Oh, well. Matty. <gasps> oh, come in. Hello, fellows. Is this where um, the auditions of the young child Ed Patry is taking place? Yes, it's Ed Petrie. Actually, you must be Robert Shard actor. I am. Lovely, good, right. Okay, here we go. Let's get this audition underway now. In this 
scene, you play me and I'll play the part of my mother. Now, in this scene, what has happened is that my mother has given me the smallest bedroom, despite the fact that I am the older brother. And it's obviously mine by rights. But, oh, no, your younger brother can have the bigger room. Well, because he needs it for longer, because you'll leave home first. What? What sort of logic's that, mother? Well, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, so, if we could just uh, just remember that it's, this is a very emotional time in my life. So, just give me what you got on three, two, one, action. But, Mummy, that's outrageous. You can't possibly let my brother John have the room as I'm the oldest, and therefore I believe the laws of England state that the room is mine. I tell you what, that's... It's a bit... It's a, bit, it's a very passionate scene to start him off on that one, isn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, try this one, OK? Scene 47. Just, uh, just oh, that back. Just, just take it a bit slower. Just a little bit slower. And, and remember, this is a very emotional story. OK, it's going to be tissues at the ready when this comes out. So... Three, two, one, action! And another thing, I'm far too old for that nappy and plastic sheets on my bed. It's been years since I wet myself. Hang on, mate, give me that. <laughs> Are you just reading the script? <laughs> Don't stuff this up for me, OK? This is important. We've got loads of people to get... <clears throat> OK, um, Let's try something else here, OK? Let's try this scene. Now, remember... I really can't stress enough, it's very emotional, OK? You're a ten-year-old boy, the world's against you, your mother and father are, are evil and domineering, and it's just you, you and your good looks and your charm to get you by in the world. Shut up. OK, in three, two, one, action. You people may wish to crush my spirit, but one day, people of Washington on sea, I'll be in a massive office with a plan and everything. Oh, no, I've wet myself. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> You've been at that script again, haven't you? <clears throat> right, OK, so... Yeah, basically, I think... I think that was... Uh, that audition, it was kind of... Um, Brilliant. Uh, Marvellous. Mm -hmm. Sensational? No, no, it was awful. <laughs> I, yeah, I, what? I'm, I'm sorry, that was terrible. That was one of the worst editions I've ever seen in my entire life. How dare you offend actor. me? You're clearly an amateur. I don't know why my mother sent me to this audition in the first place. Fine, we'll get out. I will. Oof. Who'd have thought it? Rubbish child actor was... He was rubbish, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. I would have said, oh, wow. Oh, 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 you thought he was quite good, did you? Hey. Oh, yeah, why don't we give him a five-year BBC exclusive contract? Oh, gee! What are we going to do, Outcho? We've got a great script for a movie. Ed and Outcho, the movie. It can be brilliant, but we can't afford any child actors. And oh. rubbish child actor was... He was rubbish, wasn't he? What are we going to do? Oh! Come in! Everyone, is this where I auditioned to be the young Ed Petrie? Uh, yes, yes, it is. It was Ed Petrie, actually. Who are you? Um, average child actor. Average child actor? Oh, that sounds promising, doesn't it? Oh, I love the script about a boy with no friends and a scary melon shaped head. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yes, well, the last guy we saw, a rubbish child actor, he was rubbish, wasn't um, he? I've slightly changed the script. I figured it could be a musical, so I've written a song. Oh, dear, I love That's a great idea, actually. Oh, wow. It worked for Zac Efron, didn't it? Indeed. It worked for Ed Petrie. Wow. It's called, um, Ed Petrie, Lonely Boy. Ha, <laughs> ha, right. Stop it. <laughs> OK, well, yeah, hit us with it. <clears throat> twinkle, twinkle, little me, I'm a melon head called Ed Petrie. I've got a face like an ugly mill. No one talked to me when I was at school. Twinkle, twinkle, Ed Petrie. Why don't you get a proper job instead of TV? Oh, that's a lot, Ollie. It's not lovely. There was nothing lovely about that. The wow. singing was awful. He was really rude to me. He's got a horrible squeaky voice. Wow. Oh. Actually, I think I recognise that voice. Wow. It's you! Oh. It's rubbish child oh, actor! Hey. <laughs> oh. oh, right, get out of my office. I'm not having this. Fine, I will. But we do! Get out! You're rubbish! Oh. You rubbish child actor! Oh. Oh, kids these days. What are they teaching? Diego, Diego, Don't you dare you... sing that song. Well, again, I've seen them all Stop it! TV. Did anyone do any singing <laughs> around here is the free phonics? No. They're up next. No. no, 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 I don't... 
I don't think it's right to cast a small adult to play me as a child. It's oh, not going to be great. No, no, it's weird and offensive. Oh, no, I'm sure somewhere out there there's a child <laughs> actor who'd just love to play the part of me as a ten-year-old boy. Bow wow. Well. I don't know where. Oh, come in. Hello, gentlemen. Is this where I auditioned for the Ed and Outtree movie? Oh. Yes, yes it is. Oh, you saved us. Who are you? Me? Well, I'm an OK child actor. Oh, OK out. child actor. Me? Oh, great name. OK, uh, you read the script. Do you like it? Oh, yes. I thought it was very good. Oh. I really wrote a bit, though. All oh, right. Oh, what? which script was that? Um, the bit where your cat gets ill and dies. Oh, oh, yes. One of the most heart-rending moments of the film, I think. Yeah, I thought it might go a little bit like this. Music, please. Sorry, you, you thought that would be appropriate, did you? The scene where my cat dies, you tap dancing all over the place. Hey. You fed oh, yeah, me horrific. For, you fed me for the last time, sir. I know, I know this person. Wow. It's you, isn't it? Wow. It's Robert's child actor again. Oh, I set my heart on the part now. You have to give me it. <laughs> Not if I have anything to do with it, I won't. Oh, you have to cast me. He's given me a five-year BBC exclusive deal. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just stop you there. So you've done what? Hey. You've signed him up on a five-year deal? Hey, he? I know I told you to. I was being sarcastic, wasn't I? You mean we were slumbered with him for five years? Uh, oh, what are we uh, going to do uh, with Rubbish Child Actor? Uh, no! No! Well, that's another actor for EastEnders. Hey. Oh, we keep helping out like that. We're uh, going to be producing that show before long. Uh, blah. No, I don't fancy much nah. either, really. Eh, uh, I'd die like a glass, right? Yeah, I'm tired of casting as well. Can't be just saying that going to make people on Bollywood, do you? And I feel it's going to get our ass. Yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah, we should stop trying to make this film and just hey. send the script to Hollywood, shouldn't hey. we? Yeah, I'll get Shirley to make hundreds of copies wow. and then we'll send it off to all the top Hollywood mm, producers. Hey, hey. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just be Hollywood writers. Wow. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Hey, lots of things. Move to Hollywood. Oh. Become a writer. Hey. Go on strike. Oh, lovely. And then just sit around doing nothing all day. D. Ah. Very nice, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Sitting around doing nothing. D. Oh. Eh? The balasta. Yeah, imagine that. <sighs> Good. That's very good, Shirley. Thank you. Yes, have a bun. Right. Well, Shirley says she's going to print off 600 copies of that wow. script and then send it extra fast, super quick express delivery to Hollywood. She'll be uh, there tomorrow. Dear. Oh, God, that's now, it. I reckon all those producers will be ringing us up desperate oh, to make dear. our film. Dear. Also, she said we haven't got anyone for parents say poo to <gasps> Wow. I know. Oh. Disaster. So, if you'd like to see your parent say poo, poo. this is what you need to do. Send us a picture. That's right. Send us a picture of them. Uh, nice quality, so we can blow it up big. Mm. And send us their phone number as well, so we can ask their permission. Send this all to this, this address that you can see on your screen. And also send us a bit of information about them as well. Uh, you know, stupid things they say, uh, their age, where they work, things like that. Uh, send it to Parents Say Poo, CBBC 9989, London W12 6PA. Or you can email it as well, cbbc at bbc.co.uk. Remember, make that picture good quality. Oh, eh, eh, what am I going to say Bollywood? What will life be like in Hollywood? Dee. I don't know. I bet there'll be loads of these, though. Oh, Do you see what we can get through all those programmes on? Hmm. Mm. You know what? No matter how many times I eat donuts, I never get bored of eating donuts. Raw? Do you think we set a bad example to the children, all this cake and donuts that we eat? Oh, D. Really? No. <laughs> no, no. Good, yeah. good. Hmm. Yeah. Now, if you'd like to know more about my eating habits or my thoughts on the world, then why not go onto the message boards on the CBBC website and ask us a question, could stop I and my donut? Because uh, we're having a web yeah. chat on the 29th of February and we'd oh, like you to ask some questions because we're, we're interested to know what wow. things the viewers would like to know about us. And most of all, we want to beat Connie Huck, don't we? Oh, do that. She's got a thousand course. questions, we want to beat her. Eh, I got a see this. You got a question. D. What's that? What a thought when I like eating a bath for a flat ass. What will become a rubbish child actor? D. Well, I, I think he'll have a glorious future on EastEnders. Oh. As long as they let him 
tap dance at funerals. Oh, and we'll see you tomorrow at 3.25. Bye! Bye.